Hi, I'm Juraj Bednar and I'm co-founder of Citadelo, a company which keeps you safe online. In this video, I would like to show you how to install three very useful Google Chrome extensions that will increase your privacy and comfort online. First one is HTTPS Everywhere. It enforces use of encrypted connections to servers like Facebook or Google. Of course, you could say that you could go to HTTPS encrypted pages from your bookmarks, but think about links you click on other sites or from your email. Clicking on such a link sends you to an unencrypted version, which is enough for any attacker intercepting your internet to log into your account on several services. Let's start by opening Google Chrome and going to the page of HTTPS Everywhere. Uh, from there, we can install the extension. Uh, they have extensions for Firefox and Google Chrome. We are running Google Chrome, so we will install it in Chrome. Uh, this, this takes us to Google Chrome Web Store for extensions. The extension is free, of course, so we can uh, click on free and uh, then click on add, which basically installs the extension. No need to restart or configure anything. So we can just uh, try it out on uh, uh, Facebook, for example. So let's type uh, facebook.com. And now we can see that the page is served through HTTPS. Ghostery is an extension that allows you to see which companies are tracking you and eventually block the tracking. Your browsing therefore doesn't appear in Google Analytics or other similar tools. Ghostery is not protecting your anonymity though, only blocking widespread analytics and tracking. You would still use your normal IP address. Let's start by visiting the homepage of Ghostery, which is ghostery.com and clicking on the button saying download Ghostry now. So we click the button and we are prompted to uh, click on add, which uh, adds it to the Google Chrome, similar as the previous extension. We need to configure it a little though. So let's click on the right arrow, meaning next uh, step. There are two options. The second is important. It enables uh, uh, automatic updates. So let's click on, click here to enable tracker library auto update. And uh, we can continue, click on the arrow. And um, here we can uh, enable or disable alert bubble. I recommend uh, disabling it because it's interesting to know who's tracking you, but it's also very annoying. Let's go to the next page. Here we can see the different categories of um, blocking widgets and other other things. And we can, for example, block all. So we can click select all and then that blocks all the different categories and all the different widgets, beacons and so on. Uh, this will block some social network uh, widgets. For example, I use SoundCloud so I can um, enable SoundCloud that is uh, uh, disable blocking of SoundCloud. Uh, I can um, configure different widgets or if you're heavy social uh, network user you can um, disable blocking of all widgets. It's up, up to you. You can configure it uh, however you want it. Let's click next and we're all done and ready to use Ghostree. So let's try it out on CNN.com. Uh, as you can see, the page loads normally and we can look for some uh, blocked visible widgets. Um, those are marked by an icon of a small blue ghost. So there is one widget right here. Uh, we can uh, run it one time or uh, enable it uh, forever. So let's run it this time. The page reloads and we can see there's a uh, uh, popular on Facebook widget, which uh, is now enabled. Uh, you can also see all the tracking widgets and beacons and everything by clicking on the ghost tree icon and you can uh, disable, enable and um, configure uh, each tracker by itself. Adblock Plus gets rid of many ads. The internet becomes cleaner and much nicer. Pages will also load faster. 
you have to solve the ethical question about not displaying advertisement yourself. First, I want to show you the difference. Uh, let's see, for example, the pop popular site Pirate Bay. Uh, we see all the banners and uh, animations and other advertisements. And if we install the extension, this is how Pirate Bay looks like, which is much nicer and much more useful and saves bandwidth. Uh, the other thing is advertisements on YouTube. So for example, when you click on a video, uh, you, you see an advertisement you can skip easily. You have to wait and then you can skip it which is not very nice for a, for a, for example, uh, evening YouTube party. So let's install Adblock Plus. Um, you go to uh, Chrome store, in install Adblock Plus by clicking free and add again. So it's very similar to the previous extensions and uh, Adblock is installed. You can also configure it to do other things such as blocking malware or uh, removing social uh, media buttons and so on. So you can click on activate features to configure it. I just want to show you how it works. So it's now activated. We go back to the uh, page of the video and click on reload. And there's a very nice video without any advertisements and, and so on. Thank you very much for listening and have a nice browsing experience. Goodbye.